Hi beautifuls, welcome back to my Chanel and welcome to another episode of America's Next Top Scandal Girls. <laughs> I'm in a very good mood today, my lovelies. How are you doing? The sun is shining. The women are out and on the game. And I am ready to watch another episode of the most unhinged reality TV series ever. Though actually, technically, I suppose on this Chanel, it's not the most unhinged. It's the most enduring, shall we say. Oh! So, my lovelies, in the last episode, what did we see? It was episode... Yes. Tyra was like, we're going to shoot some hateful bikinis in Jamaica, girls. Just for one episode. For one day of the episode. Yes. I don't understand, I'm a, I'm a simple woman. And we lost two contestants, cutting down the... We lost them? <laughs> two contestants didn't make it to the pageant, no. Whilst Jay kept saying, give it fashion, make it fashion. It's not very fashion, but make it more fashion. It's fashion. <laughs> So my lovelies, I'm actually having quite a good day in the studio today. I'm a little bit spigoodly woodly girl because I've had quite the weekend, shall we say, quite the weekend. Very intense weekend that had been planned for for many, many months. In fact, sort of a year, really, and didn't quite go to plan, but I'm here, I'm thriving, it's fine. Oh, that's nice. One of the top comments on the last episode of America's Next Top Scandal Girls Cycle 3 Episode 2 was by Lisa Bauer and they say there's a neighborhood in Queens called Jamaica and I was honestly shocked that Tyra's announcement wasn't a trick and that they actually took them to the island. Honestly, me too sis. I'm not hugely familiar with like the locations in America. Oh, that doesn't sound very good, does it? But I am genuinely quite surprised that they decided to take them on location for the first shoot of the season, I guess. But I also think because I'm based in the UK, I always assume Jamaica is this like really far away place. But the idea that they said they'd only flown for like three hours means that it, it must be like relatively nearby, geographically locating. It would be like someone from London just popping quickly to Spain for a photo shoot, which does sound wild to put it like that. Uh, I don't know, my loves. Shall we just get on to it, girls? Right, get your beverage at the ready. Today, I am on the Monster Energy Zero Sugar Lewis Hamilton edition. I, my Ohanger, have decided to break, and I am severely maimed by this information. But we shall persevere and pretend we have our Ohanger, one and two. And to the person who said, how dare you? She just says Ohanger for no reason. She's changed the word. In my comments, yes, if I can be silly in English, I can be silly in German. It's not that serious, sis. This is 100% free content on the internet. If you don't like it, move on. <laughs> who? Da 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 da! Nationwide girl, 12 going her, and she's on the game. Cassie, she's also on the game. Yeah, yeah. She should win, realistically, she should. My winner, my true winner. Yeah, yeah, yes. Nicole, girls, Kelly, Leah, dead now. <laughs> I can't say that. Jennifer, Eva, Christy, girl, Tara, Amanda. Who will be America's next top? Scandal girls. Oh, they've used the HDMI cable. Oh, Empire State. Up now. Up now. Up now. My sure. stomach hurts because I need some food. I'm so hungry. I thought I was going to pass out. I'm very obsessed with my weight. Now I'm right. obsessed about what I eat. Right. Um, okay. Immediately, first sentence of the episode is I am obsessed about what I eat. Okay, right, is this going to be a an episode in which we travel back to the era which was most known for size zero and the fact that you could only really get anywhere in the industry if you were tiny, for lack of a better phrase. I'm going, like, how much what a hideous hallway. I'm just going to go into I carry them. Purple and black damask could be quite chic, but the purple does look a bit inflamed. And the flooring also looks inflamed. Why are they eating in the hallway? Does this apartment not have a a dining table? She's like, nah. For the true model experience, scuttle away your lettuce in the corner like the wrong and you are. <gasps> right. How long are you planning on going? Like, how much like where are you planning on losing? I'm just gonna go inside. I like how I look. What? 
I'm determined to be a model, and if I have to be skinny to be a model, I will be. You are, sis. You do. It's a bit. Triggered. Okay, so as someone who's been on a weight loss journey, seeing someone who is already remarkably slim be invited into an environment and sort of have it pressured on them to get even skinnier, should we say, that sentiment is so prevalent because success was equated to basically being like rail thin. In my mind, because I grew up on this kind of TV in this kind of era, I still have those sorts of negative associations with weight gain in my mind. I know that I'm a bit heavier now than when I was last year, the same time, because I got down to my goal weight to have FFS surgery and it was great. And then I spent a year recovering, basically. I also got my chest done and that meant that I couldn't spend as much time in the gym or being as active as I wanted to be. So I gained weight. I still in my head, I'm like, oh my God, am I going to fail at my career on YouTube? Are people going to stop watching if I gain weight? Are people going to do this? Are people going to do that? Oh my God, is my jaw going to look gigantic, girls? And I th honestly truly believe that I can kind of peg that down to growing up in an era of TV associating innate skinniness with success. I think that's something I need to unwind, but I don't think watching these shows is going to help. But you know what they say? I can't wait to see how this gets go. That's nice, Theo. The spider crawled up the wider spout. Eli on the phone. Down. What is this diary room? Oh my God, is that child just gonna shriek? Crystals on the wall. Mystic Meg. What's the L for? Lady. Um, Lady Gaga. Die. Down. <laughs> oh, it's a baby, isn't it? Miss you, Eli. Elijah is my light, my jaw wolf. <laughs> Mom, I love I'm not Eli. With that word. He is the most magical child I have ever seen in my She's so life. She's so softly spoken. He was conceived to the hour on September 11th. Ooh, thank you. Oh, that was the mommy of the. Was. Did we need to, was that needed to know? She sort of said that in a very like. Oh, thank you. Ooh, a pink camisole a with a yeah. purple headband. You have to substitute for her, her baby. Mommy. All right. I'm this like wonderful loving. The size hippie. of those sunglasses. I'm this. Oh, Paris Hilton like found crying and shaking. I'm actually on the sun and I need sunglasses this big. Loving hippie mom that hippie <laughs> wants everybody to love each pearls. other. Whenever anybody needs something, ask it. I'm full now. Why then at the end also did we have Cassie going, I'm full now, after we've just seen that, like the pacing of this episode so far is very strange. It seems to be very like lettuce heavy. Naughty mummy. Lots of people, Lots of a window. Dark light, it doesn't matter, we'll make it right. <gasps> it's makeover <laughs> time, <laughs> girly. Makeover. Makeover. Do you know, when I was watching this growing up, the episode where they had makeovers was always my favorite because I was always like, what are they gonna do? What are they gonna do? The thing about it is like looking back with adult eyes, having worked in the beauty industry and worked on some fashion weeks, you as a model need a look that's like relatively easy and quick to put together, but also quite signature. So the idea that they always take someone to the extreme that then requires so much upkeep is incorrect. <laughs> just not real. It's not realistic. No. Clearly, we we're gonna have a makeover. Let's see. They gotta get rid of this good Indian heart. Okay. Boo boo. Oh, they couldn't afford a nice 120 frames per second camera, so they sped up the 30 frames per second footage. That was a video editing and rendering joke. I'm sorry if most people won't get that. <laughs> Oh, into the window, Peter Coppola. Oh, hello. We're here at the Peter Coppola Salon. Oh, what You're are you doing here? Lesson from oh, me, and I'm going right. to teach you guys how to get a clean, fresh, natural look. Oh, we're having we're a makeup lesson. Cover Girl Cosmetics today. Cover Girl. So, cover if you're here in a hair salon, it Ooh, only makes we? sense that you guys are going to get hair makeovers as well. Oh, and with what a surprise! Me, we're not getting Palermo, fitted for shoes. And this is Leonard Zagami. Leonard! Freak, freaking out, like, oh my god, what are they going to do? Yes. <laughs> Everyone gets uh, an electric look pink like bob. Like look at Tyra's outfit there. Look like the RuPaul is shaking in pink. 
that is such a double denim moment of like 2003 or four, I'm guessing this would have been filmed. If this was released in September of 2004, this must have been filmed like either early September. No, it would have been filmed early, like late the last year, wouldn't it? So this would have been filmed in like 2003. That double denim ensemble is exactly what the 2000s were all about. Oh, there's even a say something belt. The girls walking down the street like, I think she can right. model, but <laughs> so I'm gonna start with you, Kelly. <gasps> so you're gonna get long, wavy, big hair extensions. Ooh. Julie, we decided to cut six to eight inches off of your hair and give you a little bit of movement. Yeah, yeah, I love the fact that you keep your hair natural. It shows the pride that you have as a black woman. But I am gonna take your braids out to make you more versatile. Yeah, okay, yeah, well, at least she had something there to say that was really positive, because I had a horrible feeling then she was gonna say, but that's not fashionable, so we're going to crop your hair off and you can wear a tiny little wig. <laughs> that's where I thought that was going to go. Thank goodness for that, my goodness. Right, okay, so. Take your braids out to make you more versatile. I'm glad she had something yeah, yeah, positive to say then. My skin. I found one of the best dermatologists in New York City. Oh. <laughs> and you're gonna be seeing her today. And we decided to make you blonde. Oh. Nicole, How I blonde. see you in I Love Lucy Red. Oh. Takara, what we wanna do is add a little bit of length and a hell of a lot of thickness. Christy, we're gonna make you more edgy. So we're gonna give you a long bang that's gonna be very chic. Jennifer. Let's see these locks. Oh, look at that hair. So you have no problem with us Gorgeous. chopping all of it off to right here. Oh. And you're going very, very blonde. But we... Do you know, I would have this exact same reaction. If I had hair to my literal, like, hip bones and someone was like... <laughs> I'd be like... I don't think so. I don't think so. No, 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 no. But of course, this was back in the time where being on TV was like the way. It was the way that you got something out of life. It was advertised to you as like the magic of television. Everyone on television is a millionaire. You go on TV, you become successful, famous, and a millionaire, girls. A millionaire. Oh my God. So I'm absolutely not surprised why she's having this sort of reaction. Would you ever do that? If you had long, gorgeous hair, would you cut it up to here for like TV? I, I don't think I, no. No. Very, very blonde. Blonde. But we are gonna do donate your hair to Locks of Love. Do you know what also, what really, oh, they're gonna donate the hair, oh, fantastic. The one thing that I always think about when they say, we're gonna take you blonde, they never like use a toner. It's always that like awkward pine blonde. I like to call it pine blonde because it's when you bleach hair that has color already in it. You can lift it to a certain amount, but then there's always that like slight residue of like underlying pigment. So you get that like, it's like pine wood, like wood, pine wood, pine, pine blonde. And they never really like make it like actually like cool and collected and expensive or pearlescent looking. It's always like, no, pine. For some reason, there's a glitch here, so I'm going to read this section. I'm just glad. I'm happy it's going for kids that have cancer. Cassie, okay. you are getting hair weave for thickening. Ooh. Amanda, we want to thickening. match those icy blue eyes with some icy blonde hair. <gasps> like me? Icy blonde, do we think? Yes. The mind's Eva, a bit cream at the moment. I love the fact that your hair is short. I think we need to kind of shape it and take it a little bit shorter. Ooh. Norel, oh, what was you that? are going Bang. to get and the dirt is gout. chopped off. And Ooh, we have found one of the top. top orthodontists, and those are coming oh. off today. Oh. All right, are you guys ready? Yeah. Sorry, can you just like go to an orthodontist and have your braces taken off? No. Can you just do that? Can that just happen? I, I don't. I'm not a dentist. I want your gum tissue. But I'm pretty sure you can't just be like, we're having your braces taken off today, girls. Oh, the top orthodontist in all of the world. Like, surely if they were the top, they'd be like, clearly this person is under other, someone else's care. Like, I can't just interrupt their care plan. I don't know, you know, that makes me feel very suspicious. <laughs> all right, immediate screening. Go! Let's go, girls. Ooh, nail file. Yeah, let's do it. In reaction Bleach. to their makeovers, some are super excited. I'm so excited because like I never seen myself. Like, yeah. Okay. So is she excited. having her braces taken out in a salon? <laughs> it's like, oh, we're just gonna put this weave in, and out come those ones. Okay. 
Some are not so happy. The pacing is so quick. Oh, Eva. It's gonna be little and blonde, like a little white boy. I don't wanna look like a little boy. I'm just not gonna be able to change it. I just don't wanna look ugly, you know? Why are you crying? Oh, I like, oh no, what just, a surprise. It's very like too short. I just cut my hair. It used to be like really long and this is like really still growing on me, you know? This is the big time and the big time is about like making really big changes. Some of the girls were kind of upset. Oh, she's got a pretty flower in her hair. I do feel like America's Next Top Model makes these decisions not based for a beautiful modeling career with longevity, but for immediate shock value for TV. I've cracked the code, oh, girl. girl. she's got a degree. First and foremost, we are watching a reality TV show that happens to feature the aspect of modeling. Everything in this show is storyline driven for the most impactful ratings and memorable TV. So when you take someone who has long, gorgeous hair, cut it short, make it blonde, that's a dramatic change. You're looking for people to go, <gasps> Wow, I didn't know that that was possible, girl. Oh my God. And in the case of Eva, although she already has short hair, they knew giving Eva anything was going to make her have this sort of like quite big, loud reaction because quite clearly, so far in all the episodes, Eva's had quite a big chunk of the story going through about like she has an opinion on lots of different things she has a reaction to lots of different things and is she going to have a redemption arc judging from the amount of tv we've seen her in already quite likely hmm. <laughs> try to be very kind and Aww. giving but are they is her and Anne not friends anymore to help. are you gonna be sad no it should be fine uh, it should be beautiful <laughs> don't do that <laughs> I'm you know it's kind of like security blanket no my hair is always there to get me recognized or get me somewhere you ready? I'm gonna cut it all off in I one. Must admit, I haven't seen swipe. like a super ready, super long hair. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Feels a lot lighter. <laughs> wow. I know she's like agreed, and I know it's like all gone ahead and stuff, but it is still like like uh, to see. I don't know why. I, like whenever anyone goes for a really dramatic change when it involves cutting off really long hair i don't know why my body always goes no don't do it you'll regret it girl. even though most people actually quite enjoy it i can't wait to see some of these people some of these people will be like i can wear with amanda oh i can't wait to see her what is that sound though sensually caressing in the salon <laughs> Okay. That sounds I'm scared. Oh my gosh, I am so excited for this new look. Really hot. Just really, really hot. My eyes are just gonna shine. The color is really gonna make me go pow. It's Linda Evangelista. My makeover makes Ooh. me. Oh, oh, I love that. Well, they could. They like. Mm, I'm not sure. I agree with the facial posing. I have that fur coat or something very similar to it. Anyway, faux fur. That. Hair colour, lovely. Oh, I love an electric red. I always used to say, if I was gonna be blonde, I'd be red, that. That was a lie. I even had it for a little while, but I was just like, no, silvery white is mine. Edgier, more model. More model. Oh, have a go. Jay taught have us all slut. how to get a clean, fresh, natural look with Oh, Barbara what was Rumble he doing with that brush? He's just like, oh, Jay a clean, fresh, natural look by applying foundation to the eyelid with a foundation brush. Sure. All how to get a clean, fresh, natural look with CoverGirl makeup. It's right. just a light shimmer just to bring a little glow to the skin. Take just the bronzer. Just put a little on oh! your Sorry. Clocked at the pageant, everyone. How can a professional makeup artist not know basic hygiene? Take just the bronzer. Just Blowing onto your brush and then applying it directly to your client's eye. I'm gagged. Don't do that. Just don't do that. Just put a little on your lid, just right no here. No color payoff. It feels totally like Before, a after. Before, after. Before, after. Before, after. Before, up. Before, after. Nice. <laughs> you do? I feel like I never looked like this before in my life. I love it. It's absolutely, yes. It's beautiful. It looks, it doesn't look oh, sweet, right? Oh, no, gorgeous. It looks like Bouncy really, really woman. Yeah. You can shave my head off oh, the ball nice. and I'll still walk around here like I'm a goddess. I really wanted the a, a completely want. new look, but I'm happy with what I have. I have two oh. tracks of fake hair inside. Oh. Now and cool. To put like all my trust in. Sorry. 
that can't be legitimate editing. That can't be a legit edit right there. They didn't put this on the cutting room floor of Sony Vegas 1.3 back in the day and do that. But I'm happy with what I have. I have two tracks of fake hair, inside out and full. To put. Inside out and full. Hmm. There has been a glitch earlier in this episode, or at least the version of the episode that I have. So maybe that could have been an edit. Maybe that could have been a glitch. But if that was an editing choice, no. I feel like today's word of the day, everybody, is no. Like all my trust and all my faith into you, and I don't even know you. I mean, that's what I hit people. I'm really excited. Do. I've never been blonde before. I'm interested to see how it'll look. I'm very open minded about it. I hate short hair. <gasps> it's not short. Just on me personally. Piano like, stripes. I Although to... that is very ego recently. But again, look, they say blonde. We're taking you blonde. That is the brassiest lift I've ever seen. How dare you? They must have to speed through these makeovers and get them done like so quickly. It actually washes her out as well. I don't like, no, no. That needed to be a much more like of a warm, chocolatey highlight. Not like pine blonde. Pine! It looks like pine, girls! No, if I was Anne, I would be sobbing as well. And I bet they'll frame it as like, Did you have a problem with your makeover? Anne, did you, Anne? Well, Eva doesn't love you anymore! Get used to it. I never Get thought I was going to cry over hair. I saw Norelle crying, I saw Jennifer crying, I saw Yaya crying, you know, and it's just hair. <laughs> I'm not really loving it right now. But it's hey, important to be it. Like you've got a little bit of hair along here, so we're gonna lose that. I'm okay now. I Food. love the way it came out. I love the results of the color. Mm. Julie, I think is beautiful, but I think she also only has one look because they didn't change her hair. Somewhere I guess I should see that as a compliment. Like, oh, they don't have to do anything with me. Do you understand the movement now? And now when you're modeling, you can <laughs> and not just be like, ugh. Yeah. Like, I don't feel like a different person. I feel like this is me and this is how I... That is a lovely... They have added, like, bounce and volume to her hair, I guess. Her hair is so gorgeous. Look at that shine. I, oh, I hope she goes far and they, she hasn't fallen into that trap of whatever the production says. I'm tickling myself with my own fur. Where production says, oh, we're not going to give you much of a makeover because we don't see you going very far, girl. Don't talk to me. Jesus was seen. I hope that's not the case. It should be looking. She has yeah, such yeah, a powerful yeah. voice Another as well. appointment. When you come back, we're going to finish you up. <gasps> Another appointment? Interesting. What does that mean? Oh, because, yes, of course. Tell me the are blackheads. Just gonna open up the ones that are for you to come out, okay? I had the best opportunity to go and see a dermatologist, yes. you know, a real dermatologist for the first time. We're gonna give you a product to use and use it every other night and probably use more on your forehead. Oh, she's got a little pussy nose job. She told me about the tricks of making your makeup look natural and cover it up as much as possible. Go with cover it up. Aqua Smooth, which this product is like a heavier silicone base. So this will give you more coverage. It does cover you well. Oh, those mm -hmm. I just hateful sponges. I am so glad we have moved. Moved? Mummy's got breasts. I am so glad we have moved past those hateful cosmetic sponges that are like the little triangles. They are not good for anything. Maybe stippling in special effects. I don't know how anyone ever got any makeup done with those sponges. I used to use those sponges. I used to use it with MAC full coverage in W10 when I was electric pale and never once saw the sunshine for 27 years, I think it was. But look at Yaya's skin here. Gorgeous, glowing. I do actually also really like her natural hair. I think she's just... Oh, she's just so beautiful, girls. Oh, it makes me sick. So that was a boost of confidence for me. Oh, gorgeous. Here we go, dermatologist mm, rave. Yes. No, really? orthodontist, <laughs> orthodontist. <laughs> He's an orthodontist! <laughs> He's an orthodontist! <laughs> He's an orthodontist! <laughs> Braces. Oh, God. How is this like... Oh wait, no, in Invisalign perhaps? Result, we have to wear it for six months to a year or so, all right? Thank you. What? In order to keep this beautiful result, we have to wear it for six months to a year or so, all right? Thank you. Huh. I feel better now about the competition, about like how I look. I don't, I, I don't understand. I don't understand, I'm a, I'm a simple woman. I don't understand. Any dentistry people here in the 
audience. Please explain to me how that was a good idea. Why did he say, oh, you'll have to wear retainers for, a, a, what was it, six months to a year to keep these final beautiful results. But she must have had an orthodontist from wherever she was from. I forget where she's from. To install the braces in the first place. So for him to say, like, these beautiful results as if he's given her some results doesn't make any sense because surely he's just taken the braces off. This orthodontist would have done nothing unless, of course, they've given her Invisalign or something similar to that. I don't know if Invisalign was around then. This doesn't make any sense, girl. So I am Confucian. America, explain. Wow, look how pretty. Oh, she's back at the salon. We're gonna use the True Blend, which is gonna even out your skin. Ooh. Just start by blending from underneath your eyes out. True Blend. Why is she wearing loads of mascara? Looks good. This is like so much more edgier Ooh. and sex. What's the word of the day? No. 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 See, it's like very versatile. Versatile, just like anyone from Vauxhall. Slacks, <laughs> dark, of course. Uh, not, not true. Not too hip on blondes. <laughs> and now I'm going to be a blonde. I feel very it's, She's not, that's not blonde. <laughs> that is not blonde. That's not blonde. That's not, how dare you take this gorgeous hair and do that. You could have put, you could have, you could have trimmed it a little bit. Maybe up to like the bra strap, like here or something under the, under the bust. And put some gorgeous balayage through it to keep it like movement and versatile and exciting. This is not that. Oh, I hate it. No. It makes her face look wider than necessary. I don't know. Very strange choice. I don't, like who, does, who decides this? Does Tyra decide this? Very strange it. Now I'm gonna get be a blonde. I feel very good to know that I'm gonna get my little curly weave. A little curly weave? I think a I little curly weave. work this. Oh. The more curly? comfortable I get here and like I, I start to kind of let my hair down, the more comfortable I will be. Oh yes, I suppose there is a deep wave there. That is quite nice. It does frame her face quite nicely. They could have picked a better after picture. Why didn't they get her to pose for a picture? She's just like casually walking around the salon. Hmm. As a model, I think oh, here we go. my transformation Electric yellow! I dyed my hair box black and put eight hours of bleach on it! I've got a bucket of piss, sweetie! Oh, are they gonna be like, this is your icy final? Oh, you just can't do this level of lifting in one day safely. You just can't, unless you're prepared to spend 12 hours, 14 hours doing it low, slow, careful. It's just not worth it. It's not worth it. I didn't get my hair this long and this color without years. And even so, it's still a little bit at the ends and a little bit like split endy here and there because it's impossible, physically impossible to have 100% healthy hair and have it bleached. Right, what what are they gonna say here? What What's this? I think that my transformation outwardly really did start a transformation on the inside. Wow, that's not icy though. Amanda stood Electric in front yellow. of us and she doesn't change her expression. I was like, okay. Transformation inside and out. Jeez. As I saw myself in the mirror, I just felt sexier and more powerful. Mm. Mm. She's living the bit. See, look, that is not blonde. That is electric yellow. You see the part here where it's just got that band of like yellow, like level nine fluorescent daffodil needs to go. They could have made her like a level eight, maybe a level nine pearlescent blonde, but this isn't icy. There's nothing icy about this. By Better before. I mean, that's really making me feel good. And I too. love bleach Anthony blonde Anthony and Leonard did an amazing job. I hope you guys learned a Two lot. Two stylists for the whole hungry? day. You're ready to go Look eat. all these thin hair <laughs> extensions. They're so yeah. thin. God, I... <sighs> I always forget that back in the day, they'd be like one pack per head. Like nowadays, we'd quite happily see like 200 grams, 250 grams, maybe even 300 grams at max. With people like Zach Meskett doing it for Weller, like, and all of his clients, like Eden the Doll, just with this white, blonde, gorgeous, icy extension, full extension hair. Like there's so much like thinness and like lots of awkward shelf hair layering we see in these older makeover shows. Oh, it's exhausting. I'm gonna be sick. So. Right, at dinner, okay, we're, both we're all going to eat the hair we've cut off. Can I get a Diet Coke? Cassie is such a Diet Coke freak. 
Thank Me you, too. Sir. Are you not eating anything, Cam? Oh, no. Right, Is it back to this? Don't say stop Why did you even get the face on? Cassie just wouldn't oh. eat very much at dinner. Oh, you know what I mean? It's finished. I'll get all ears in a second. Started watching what she was eating and very much. It's not my potato. Yes. Yes. I potato. She does kind of not eat. All these little things, I think, have been building up question marks in people's minds. Right, well, that was a weird scenario. They weren't even like, and after our makeovers, we went out for dinner. It was just like, Cassie's not eating at dinner. She hasn't eaten potatoes since she was a baby. Hmm, I don't know. I'm not sure I like this episode. This is very, it feels like they're painting a storyline of Cassie to say like, well, you're producing an unhealthy thing for women. Even in the first episode, we saw that contestant who was very thin, who who has come out to say afterwards that she has a thyroid disorder, completely understandable. But it is very strange that already we're only the third episode in and we've had two pretty heavy weight-based storylines. Up now! Right, oh, what's Food this like? and tire Car mail. Wash up, eat up, no Yellow makeup, hair. hurry up, and oh, pack up. Models never know when they have to turn the heat up. Yeah. Ooh, boiled alive. Hooray! Everyone's dead. Oh, look! It's an ice white taxi. Isn't that nice, nice and ice white blonde taxi? Yes. That was a lie. All right, we head down to an Indian Who's restaurant. Who's this, Jennifer? Well, she didn't look like this in her after photo. What's this? Okay, right. They've that no, that is age tersis. Are they also put like a spray tan on her to be like, uh, blonde and tan, just like everyone else, including me. <laughs> Remember, children, you're unique, just like everybody else. Right. Right. Hello. 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 Breasts out at lunch. Yesterday, I taught you guys how to create a natural look. Yes. Using CoverGirl makeup. Yes. Today, I'm going to test you on what I taught you yesterday. Oh. So to help me judge this challenge, CoverGirl Kiara Kabukuru. Oh, she's a cover girl. For me, becoming a cover girl, it's been a highlight and a very blessed career that I've had. It wasn't until I became a cover girl that everybody started noticing me. People would start saying, easy breezy, beautiful cover girl, and I'm like, ah! I was really happy to see her. So, we don't really have, like, cover girl in the UK. I know that it's a brand. We do have access to the brand through certain websites here, but it's not just, like, in our drugstores or in, like, Boots or Superdrug or wherever it is that you get cosmetics from usually. Is it very much like, is there a CoverGirl magazine as well? Was it considered like a drugstore thing that was everywhere? So if you got your photo with CoverGirl, you'd be in like every store across the nation. Is it one of those sort of like le that level of fame and notoriety that CoverGirl is associated with? I'm not familiar in the slightest with the brand, but I'm guessing for me in the UK, it would be something like, I don't know, if you were like the face of NYX Cosmetics and NYX is in like every boots up and down the country. So like, would it be kind of similar to that? I guess. Also, Nick should be called NYX. There's different ethnicities in the industry. As, as, a, as a woman of ethnicity, do you like feel like you have really a lot of competition in the modeling field? I think it's just An co uh, competitive question. in general. Question. These days, it's really not even about race. It could be a black girl against a blonde girl for a contract. I think America needs a little okay. taste of Indian models, so why not represent with me? Go the for it, Julie. For today's challenges, one of you will be going with Kiara and myself to a very fabulous industry Gilletine. party where you're going to be an industry party oh my goodness can you believe it you've won an opportunity to go socializing at a party this i swear they had no budget for the contestants whatsoever they literally tyra and the other executive producers and all the presenters were like oh we've got this huge budget for this huge tv show let me take 95 percent, but we'll just reward them with going partying with our friends who are probably donating time for free because industry uh. beautiful people We'll all be getting into a limousine where you will be doing a your limousine. hair, makeup, and getting dressed oh, in 10 minutes not a limousine. on the way to the party. Yeah. <laughs> and this is a realistic situation. Kiara, I'm sure you've gone I've to a party. I've done it. I have done this. Okay. All I have to say, good luck. All the music. All the makeup is out there. Everything da -da 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 -da. we worked with is out there. Everything you've ever dreamed of, everything you've ever worked for is in this limousine, girls. Triple One. 
go. Somebody takes this Panic girl, stick the lashes on your eye. everybody down the limo. Down the limo. Oh. I mean, I'm apply it with a belt. It on my lap. Okay. Oh, baby, this is Are they hard. just playing, like, inserted B-roll footage of someone, like, rummaging around in a cover girl bag? Look, the amount of times they've played this bit. Oh, cover no, girl! No. Make sure you can see cover girl! I mean, I'm just grabbing stuff, putting it on my lap. Cover girl! Okay. Oh, baby, this is a party. <laughs> I love the shaky camera to make it more like dramatic than it is. If you were to have like a static camera, it'd probably be people being like, oh, give me that, give me this. Can I put this on here? But the fact that they're like, oh my God, can you do that? Put that on here quickly, cover girl. That is the real thing, snatched. It makes you really realize the like impact of TV magic to make you think that the fashion world is so high paced and so intense, you can barely reach into your cover girl bag in a limousine to put on a blue eyeshadow for the party. Oh my God. We are elbowing each other and we're trying to like get it on real fast. Ba, ba, da, ba, da, ba, da. I look like a bunch of maniacs. Like, maniacs, girl. You'll never forget. Maniacs I with mascara. Oh, oh, band name. Oh, yeah, da, 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 drum and bass girls, I've got gout. I don't know about you guys right now. This is a real challenge because I need to make my skin work for me. Where was she oh, looking? It's, it's, oh my God. It was a mess. It was horrible. Well, well, well we don't want that, do we? Oh, we we want that to be presentable. So the idea that they're like, she was a mess, girl, doesn't really make sense. Oh, shaky zoom outside of the limousine. A shaky zoom of the limousine. Hmm. Scare girls. Hands on the ceiling, we're done. Oh, I see is there a reflection on the ceiling. The moon! Oh, I love a halter neck. I, I need to wear more halter necks. Oh, to the are we at Anand John? For goodness sake. This man is now in prison for crimes that are kind of unspeakable here on the Chanel, actually. I have covered Anand John in both the previous seasons, like where are they now? What happened after America's Next Top Model Cycle 1 and Cycle 2? He's in prison. We do not support that. No. John showroom. There is a party in back with a whole lot of industry people. But mm. Kiara and I are going to figure out which person is the winner of this challenge. Right. So you're all here, but some of you can't Having come. Bad skin. I was less confident about this competition. Is it with this one? Fringe. I thought, you know, I looked really good. I did follow the makeup instruction really well. It's so tough. I think the reason we've come up with this one winner is just based on, I think, concealing, making the skin look even, yes. wouldn't you say? Yeah. But still so natural looking. Congratulations, Nara. <laughs> so now you have to give me... Sorry, was this a competition about, like, foundation coverage? Was that... Is that what we've just seen? We've seen... Narelle, go to the party. You've made it to the ball, girls, because of your foundation coverage. Why aren't you making it to the pageant? Surely I should just win then. <laughs> Three names, real quick. Three names, okay. okay. Eva and Christy. Oh. They're all in my room. Huh. They're the people yeah. I spend the most time with, and they're the people I feel the most comfortable with. Makes the sense. The four of you get to wear a non John original creations to this party tonight. Oh. And this is a non. I am Indian. He's a Indian. Hey, that's cool. You're in this business. I'm trying to do this too. This is one of my one of a kind creations. Now the rest of you will be wearing this. Oh, <laughs> free labor. Our loser prize was to be a server for the night and wear this horrible polyester outfit that was hot. Bow tie and everything. So the four lucky ladies oh, I, I get don't to like go with this. Anon and try and This some is gowns. so weird because it's not like you are winning for being good. You're also being punished for not being the best. I don't like the idea of in a competitive scenario because sometimes your best just isn't good enough. You shouldn't be punished for that. But this is reality TV and that does bring in the drama. So, hmm. Also, I find it shocking that we're watching someone who is now spending 59 years in prison. Well, sentenced to 59 years. Shocking. Go to the party, and the rest of you girls, put on your uniforms and get straight to work. You can wear this. My you better get to work. Industry party is gonna be one that I'm never going to forget. Okay. 
at the gazebo. Everybody wants to the gazebo. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. The party itself was just ridiculous. Very dear friend of mine. She's also the editor of Luxury Fashion. So many personalities wearing ridiculous clothes and showing off. May the best women win. Yay! She was the word out serving food. Right, nice. Smashed! In Oklahoma, people look at me and I don't feel like people are looking at me here. I'm not having that much fun, you know? Come on, I'm gonna die. Are you okay? I'm 100% Indian. You know, the other young lady's Indian. Who is? Julie. But you have to hear it. You got her mother. It's okay. Julie, you're stupid. Why are you acting like a stupid girl? Why are you dressed like that? Your moves and butts are showing this day and that day. I think I'm setting a goal for Indians. They're either engineers, doctors, but we can go outside of that. We can use our intelligence in this industry. That's true. I mean, that's quite commendable, isn't it? To want to follow your dreams, it's very important to do so and to feel accomplished. Julie cracks me up. This is an it's interesting scene. It's nice to see scene. somebody proud about where they come from. Yes. It does also feel a little bit like they sort of pushed her there to be like, show us what you can do. Well, good luck, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck, everybody. I'm off to ignore you all on Twitter. <laughs> Yours, I'm sorry. Right. Not to cry because you have beautiful, clear, non-oily skin. I got these bumps on my nose. Look, go ahead, slap her. <gasps> a gentle ribbing about skin to texture, girl. To see whose beauty is true, be ready at 7:30 in the morning. Being with true so beauty many is going to be beauty shop. Some of them have actually said, "It's oh yeah, you're beautiful," but I don't see you as competition because you have a bumpy face. I think the girl seeing my boost of confidence started treating me less like a safe... Wait, this is like after the show is finished, like after the evening's finished, they're going to bed. Why have they got shots of them there like putting on makeup? Look. I don't see you as competition because you have a bumpy face. Literally lip lining. Literally lip lining whilst it's like, and we're all going to bed now because we've got a competition in the morning. Interesting editing choice and fully for storyline purposes because there is no reason you'd be at home being like, I'm just gonna be putting more makeup on now for bed. Like that's that's not how it works, girls. No. I spy with my little <laughs> something to do with production. Oh wow. scandalous. I think the girl seeing Brush my your boost of confidence got started the shelf. treating oh, me dear. less like a safe person to a be safe around space. and more like actual competition. Woody Woodpecker beauty girls. really does come from the inside out. I know that's a cliche when you do a beauty. Oh, look at the fashion. Oh, beauty. look at the fashion. Oh, look at the say something belts, the low rise jeans. We've got, what's that? Three quarter length cutoffs, but not quite three quarter lengths because they're just below the knee. They're like calf, baggy calf and a sandal with a lime green camisole. And Eva here in her pink long sleeve woolen V-neck Pink long sleeve knitted v neck and grass green <laughs> tuxedo pants with a heel. Go I mean, gorgeous. It's like we're playing The Sims. Excuse me, I will not have that. Thank you very much. Goodbye. I know that's a cliche. When you do a beauty shot, right, which yes. is what we're doing today, it's actually the most difficult photograph to do. Today's shoot because? is going to be about a clean face. Oh. So, so we're, we're going to take slap all you over. Makeup off. Um, Whoa! No lip gloss, no blush, no bronzer. No of course, nothing. and then do you know so what they're gonna say? Yeah, yeah. Your skin has not immediately improved from your single visit to the dermatologist, who was also at the salon. So I'm sorry, my dear, but you're up for extermination. Oh, that's nice. Be uptight and close and personal. Having no makeup on. I wonder if they'll use a 5D mark too. Oh, no, they won't. Like, oh, happen. this test but is a personal attack against the IF. I love a halter neck. I need so many halter necks. I recently have been trying to make myself more clothing because I actually really enjoy the idea of making clothing that already exists, but it doesn't exist in the fabric that I want it to. So I've been tracing out the patterns and stuff and I just can't get this beautiful stretchy fabric to work to make a halter neck. In fact, I'm gonna show you because it's such a gorgeous fabric. Look 
Look at this fabric. It is gorgeous, wet look, stripy leather. Look. And I want to make it into a halter neck so bad. And for some reason, my sewing machine is like, no, I don't like it. So any designers who'd be willing to help me understand what I'm doing, please DM me on Twitter or Instagram and help me create garment. Oh, I'm sorry, Biscuit. Did my fashion outrage you? Let's have a little cuddle. You're getting so big now, Biscuit, aren't you? Yes. Do you want to sit with me and watch some of America's Next Top Scandal Girls? No, thank you. I have Mr. Troy Word here. He is an amazing photographer. The way so man, I mean, Jay Manuel really speaks is so strange. It's personal. It's going to be really Fair just her. you. There's Fair no way to run and Fair. hide. Skin is really important Skin. on models, and especially your Skin hands alive. will show your age. So Nivea has given us hand oh, cream Oh, we don't like and Nivea. that's what you'll really be modeling. Anti-gay. Right, so let's get cracking. We don't do gay at Nivea. Well, we, you also don't have a job at Nivea anymore, so. Take to her. <laughs> How's it feel waking up with this? Are you possessed by the previous owner? Possessed by the previous owner of your hair extensions? Thank you. That's a Shudder exclusive right there. Victim? Beautiful. Uh, You're starting to think. Don't hold that job. Takaris? That's nice. Come back to me. I do love a beauty eyes. shop, beautiful. though. Just What's long, with the hair? Elegant, beautiful. Contra Iman or something. There! Oh my god, is that the first? point of tiny amount of reference we've had for a model. Conjure up Iman or something. I mean, we could just like cut off the or something. If you were to say to someone, conjure up Iman in your photo, in your beauty shot. Iman was all about long neck, like length, elegance, poise, like sharp features, but length at the same time in all of her beauty shots. So that's actually a very good reference to give someone here in this photo shoot, which is much better than being like, give Beyonce. Give fashion. It's not giving beauty. It's not giving fashion. Electric chair. <laughs> oh, oh, look at that. Bam, bam, bam. Gorgeous. I was trying to throw, like, go. I'm in the middle of sex right I now. I don't Kind of, you know, like, playing with the hair and grabbing your neck. Eva, it's just remember, course. we think some of these really beautiful moments. Beautiful right there. Good. She's got lovely you know, eyes. Eye eye color. Color. Yes. Yes. You know how, like, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. don't go there. Doesn't sell products. What? You know Mona Lisa the pain. Yes. You know how like. Yes. Oh. Yes. Don't go there. Doesn't sell products. Christine, head up to the light. Don't do the Mona Lisa because it doesn't sell products. Sure. Okay. Okay. Sure. Sure. Go for it, girls. Forward and tilt you exactly. Drop that shoulder. Very like Chrissy was nervous. Awkward. I think she was probably the most limited of all the girls as far as the looks. Ready? Really? I'm as far limited as far as the looks. The camera while doing so. Turn back around to me a little bit more though. Yeah, right mm. there. That's it. At first, I was kind of worried about it, but after getting my hair done and preparing myself mentally, spiritually, I was like, okay, I can do this. Beautiful. She's done. Yaya is a trooper. She sat in front of a camera with no makeup on and said, you know what, this is my skin, but I'm gonna be beautiful. We're done. Yay! I mean, that, like, she's beautiful Jennifer, anyway. you gotta bring your chin down. Imperfections don't make us ugly. I have great thoughts because that's gonna she's come like, through. Uh, Give me a little uh, bit uh, of a uh, smile. Troy, she just got her braces off two days ago. Really? You feel like a new woman? So no one's gonna recognize you back home. No. I think Norella's gonna really have to go work in the mirror and find confidence. Work in, in the mirror and find confidence. Julie, shake a little bit of that hair out. Yeah. Bring one piece through, yeah? I kind of looked in his camera and I was saying like, oh no, what am I supposed to be looking for? Think of elongating the neck. Really stay strong to me, that's it. He is bored. A little more hand, yeah. Oh no! It's the curse of we haven't given you a makeover because we don't expect you to go very far. Coming true for Julie. Oh no! The prophecy is true. Justice for Julie! That's nice, do that, that's great. I don't think I connected well with the camera, so I'm just there like in the dark, like, okay, I'm just gonna twirl my hair like they want me to. Okay, I think that's it. Good. Long Can you go? Stay up. Think outside of the box for us. Think Give outside the box. Expression. Like, what box are you talking about? These people haven't modeled before. Think outside of the box. Outside of the beauty box. Okay. Wait, but what you actually want is a prime example of a beauty photo shoot. So why are you saying, look outside the box? No, say, think this, think that, think magazine, think skincare sales. Think of things that make you look glowy, glossy, gorgeous. And think of a small sea urchin who's had all of its spikes removed and it's been buffed up to a polished surface. And then you're like... <gasps> 
Skin. Deranged. Kelly, a little more life. Kelly Oporton. That doesn't mean wide-eyed, it just means a little more life. Lives together. Kelly was there. They kept trying to get something out of her that she just wasn't giving. It's just never okay. pressed she into your face. Yeah. The consensus was she wasn't. Perfect. Yellow. Makeover really kind of boosted my confidence. Electric yellow hair. And I think, you know, I've got a strong personality and a strong talent. Electric yellow. It's the same color as her camisole. Electric yellow. Electric yellow. Also, they've done her dirty with the color correction underneath the eye, which is also electric yellow. I don't understand, I'm a, I'm a simple electric chair. Ready. Oh, she just became so stunning. She I just totally became. feel it. Mm. Completely. Jesus was seen. Completely worked it. No, it's, I don't want to be disqualified because like, I have an injury. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. No, it's not. <laughs> Cassia informed Amanda that she was bulimic. Amanda told somebody, and next thing you know, everybody knows, of course. Oh, this is just order, so it's I not know. fine. Really, it's gonna eat her life. And she's like, that's such a huge secret, you know? Like, anybody who doesn't listen to a like, horrible insult. Wait, what? Don't go in there. Have we just seen Cassie say that she's bulimic to Amanda? And Amanda has immediately turned around and gone, Hello, everyone. Cassie Blah. That is... Unhinged? Oh, that's pulled my opinion of Amanda down. Cassie clearly was feeling very vulnerable in this moment to be able to share something so pertinent. And the idea that everyone's gone, no, it's not okay, it's not okay. No, it's not okay. But do you know where she needs to be in order for her to be okay? Not an international reality TV modeling competition in which your body is everything. Absolutely not. At a beauty shoot which they are judging you on your skin which is a part of your body. Wow, okay, this is really, this is quite possibly one of the worst storylines we've seen so far. And it's only episode three. I feel very sick in my stomach. <laughs> Smells? Huh? Like you? She was in there for like a minute. Well, I timed her, yeah. Like that is not healthy. She has potential to be so good, but yeah. she, you don't need to do that. Little girls can't think that, oh, I want to be a model. Like I'm going to have to make great. myself yeah. puke. Now that I think about it, she's always tired, she has new energy, she's always snacking. It's so not healthy. It robs your teeth. Who is she the closest to here, though, that someone needs to sit her down and talk to her? I should have never opened up, and I should have never trusted these girls. I think that they're trying to make it worse and play up Cassie as this mentally unstable bulimic girl who does bad things, lose weight, and she can never be a model. She shouldn't be here. Nice, right there, good. That's, That's the competitive right aspect of it. She's on the ball with that judgment. Beautiful. I can't tell you're insecure. And that's good. Okay. Cassie needs validation. As soon as she has it, she really becomes a model. Right there. Well, Jay, let's just adjust that, shall we? Do people like being told they're good at what they enjoy doing? Yes. Is that seeking validation at every moment and then you blossom them into the woman on the game? No. I'm a bit disheveled from like the previous conversation we've just had about insecurities and eating disorders. And now Jay's like, no, but also yes, but also no. Yes, and also no. Amanda has a complete ass for telling Cassie's secret. She plays this role that she's a sweet, nurturing mother. Yeah, that is someone not... decides to confide in you. Yes. Why don't you let that be between you and that person? Eva's on the game. If people have a problem with it, that's their problem, Gorgeous not skin. mine. Good. What the hell was Cassie thinking saying it to me if she didn't want anybody to know and if she didn't want help for it? My opinion of Amanda has slipped. What do we think? Let me know what you think about that in the comments box below because I understand expressing concern for a fellow competitor, but she could have told anyone in production, behind the scenes, anything, a medic, anyone, like expressed a concern. Instead, she was like, tell all of the competitors. That to me, like, I don't agree. Do not agree. No, she decided to confide something quite important about her life to you that's not important in the competition as such in terms of like, will it give her the edge or whatever? But Amanda saw that as like, I'll tell everyone because that will actually make everyone's opinion of her different. I don't like that, Amanda. Yeah, true. I think we got it. I don't care what these girls think anymore. I'm still gonna do me, and I'm still gonna try to win this thing. I bet you back in the day, everyone was like, yeah, and Cassie's bad. That's so bad. That looks like shrimp curry, dude. Did rice come with our food? Who is that? Hey, guys, I don't know if you haven't come to me about what everyone's saying about the past 
problems that I've had with eating, then it's oh, not an issue right now. It's, it's not a, a, a problem here. So if y'all think that I'm still throwing up or something here, then it's not the case. I can see why she might feel alone and why she might be just really That's hurt horrible. by the fact that people are talking about her. I don't consider myself bulimic because I don't throw up after everything I eat. If you have questions, then you come to me and don't just talk about it, you know? I'll tell you now I that Amanda... I didn't even know what the issue was. Yeah. I, I knew well, just people are like, oh my God, Cassie is bulimic here. She's throwing up. That's I, I can't even remember the last time I threw up. Even if you did or when you go home or whatever, is this bad on your health? Yeah. I have an obsession with my weight. That's the problem. I'm not bulimic, though. I have grown up dreaming of... What an awful conversation to have to have on TV in front of everyone that's gonna stand the test of time and be watched now. Literally, 19 years later, we're still being able to see this because this is a public show. I wonder what made her or what led up to her coming into that room and saying all these things. We've just been sort of given half the story here where she's just kind of walked into the room and brought this up. I don't think that's that would have happened. That doesn't seem like that would have happened. She almost seemed a little bit worked up and wound up at that point. There was obviously a situation that led up to her going and uh, going to the group of people and being basically saying, if you are talking about me, please talk to me and not about me, about a situation that's currently affecting me. Oh, these are, these are always a journey, aren't they, these shows? I am genuinely, like, shocked to remember the amount of heavy, like, weight-related and eating disorder-related storylines that we saw in this show. We've had one every single cycle so far and multiple times in each cycle. Being a model. And, I, and great, there's plus size models, but that's not for me. But I don't want to talk about it anymore, and I don't want anyone else talking about it anymore, really. If you make yourself throw up to lose weight, that's an eating disorder. Like, no matter when, if you do it once, if you do it five times. Yeah. Comes and tells me, she's like, pss, pss, pss. I mean, uh, Amanda says that um, Cass is anorexic and bulimic. I am so blown right now at just the whole situation with Amanda. I don't trust anybody. She just wants someone else out of the running because she wants the upper hand. That's all I find Amanda's it. Yeah, I find myself really agreeing with Eva. Cassie. Is this the first time that we're having like Eva as a positive and voice of reason in the house? Is this the beginning of her storyline redemption, girl? The woman was too stunned to speak. That's all Amanda was trying to do because she's intimidated by Cassie because Cassie's beautiful. You could tell me I'm a good person. Well, you know you are. That's, I did something wrong and I shouldn't have. I just told something that a girl told me in confidence. I feel so bad. Just try and stay out of all that crap over. What I did to Cassie with bringing her secret out in the open, it wasn't my place to do it. And now yes. I'm the the evil person and everybody thinks I'm a backstabber. It is quite a backstabby thing to do. Tomorrow and you now have to earn the trust the back. Only 11 of you will continue on in hopes of- Oh my God, elimination girls. Who's One it gonna be? Eliminated. I think it might be between Julie because they were like, you're not connecting to the camera. And who else? Between Cassie, because we've had a, a huge eating disorder storyline in this episode. That's who I think is going to be in the bottom. And I think... Oh, I don't know who's going to go. Hmm. Oh, well, oh, oh. Uh, it's your, no, it's your neck. I'm excited, actually, for eliminations. I'm going, let's get some of these bitches out of here. <laughs> Nick, I want to be here because this is my dream. Mm -hmm. You know? Okay. You can't be anorexic, you can't be bulimic, you can't be making yourself sick, I think. She will be eliminated if he goes back to Tyra. If you eliminate like this far, it's gonna be good. You're good. Hopefully I don't miss a workout. They're talking about it as if it's like something she can control. That's the whole point, it's called a disorder. Oh, Tyra with a leaf, girl. Ooh, ooh. You know, Tyra's stylists and makeup artists at the time. Very good. Do you reckon this was Jay Manuel's work? I don't know. It's not very cube sponge under the eye with cover girl, is it? No. Or is the outfit gonna be a bit leathery as well? Ooh! Judgment. Welcome, ladies. Oh, this gorgeous week, leather. I wish to have that. Makeovers. Look at you. So now it's time for the judging panel to make the third cut, which will bring us one step closer to finding out who will become. And there it goes, kind of goes. We have some amazing prizes a modeling Please contract say. with the top modeling agency, Ford Models. 
A photo Ford. spread in Elle beep, magazine, beep, bitch. which will be shot by the world renowned magazine. fashion photographer Ellen. Gilles Ben Simone, and a hundred thousand dollar contract. A hundred thousand dollars. Oh, there was actually in the last episode. I think I asked like how much that was worth, and it seems to be that they actually get paid a hundred thousand dollars to work with CoverGirl. So one would hope that people actually got that money, but I'm a bit confused as to how they say worth a hundred thousand dollars, because that seems like it's like, well, it's worth this, but we're gonna give it to you for only two ninety nine and three payments of eight hundred and eighty pounds. What a bargain! Do you know what I mean? Like it's very QVC to say that. It's time for me to introduce our panel of interesting, Joshua's. wacky, but highly intelligent judges: Janice Dickinson, one of the world's first supermodels; oh, Nigel oh, Barker, scandal. Who is a She'll hate that. She'll egg her car on the way out. No, no, Gel Bisquish, no Le Marin, and Pom. And as you can see, this week we have a guest judge, hair stylist to all the top models, Danilo. Danilo, what an electric And then the judges will deliberate and will determine which one of you should be eliminated. But first, Jay is going to administer your test. Today we're going to test you on what you learned about applying makeup. We have a plastic bag by CoverGirl on all of your beds. You're going to have 10 minutes to apply to half of your face a clean day look. If they say all of your beds, does that mean they're actually right now in a, like the hotel lobby or something? Yes! And apply a night diva yeah, look day on the other side. Diva night. Okay. All right, go! I used to do a lot of day to night work. A daytime tweet and an evening... <laughs> Da, da, da. The music. Is it basically Alrighty, the gloss, first girl is smoky eye? Oh, we can't see like you because it. of your fridge. I love the wispy bangs all in your eye. Wait, what? You, you look like Cousin It. I love the wispy bangs all in your eye. I really am impressed with you. Make I would hate to have bangs that are literally just like in my eyes at all times of the day and night. That is hateful. But the idea that Janice has just said, you look like Cousin It. You look like Cousin It, girl. Like, what's that got to do with anything? She didn't make this decision. Tyra made the decision for her. Up. The evening looks pretty good. So you okay. had a close-up beauty shoot. There Where's are two the things difference? that you were being judged on with this shoot. One is your posing and how well you take a beauty photograph. Okay. The other is how much retouching you need. Retouching is extremely expensive. A client doesn't want to have to pay tons of money to get the girl that he hired for a job skin retouched. Here was Christie's best shot. I think you'll find they do because part of retouching is part of the photographer's bank of work at least nowadays it is that's weird to say how much retouching you need that's so like if we have to retouch you you're going home oh that's nice Yawn. i think the mouth is beautiful i think the eyes are dead can we see the horrible framing of that photo dead that is so not good eva what dead. can we see the unretouched what was that noise <laughs> like yes that's what skin and people look like because bizarrely enough they're not perfect Dead. That is so not good. Janice going dead. Eva. A dead Eva diva. I don't really see a big difference. It's very even from one side to the other. And from this distance, I really can't tell. Here's your best shot. I would have clipped the artificial nail as it looks very hooker. Eva, I think this picture is absolutely gorgeous. You, you've captured sort of the essence of the ad. Can we see Eva's unretouched photo? Oh, That God. noise. Help. <laughs> Stop in the name of love. Cassie. That noise that they're playing on the the reveal of the unretouched photo, they're just like, boom. I wonder if on Yaya's, because she's obviously had this problem with her skin, they're gonna be like, boom, the symbols have opened, the sea has been split, and Yaya is there. Like, what? what's that about? What is that? Reality TV from this day and age destroyed us. Here is your best shot. That's perfect. Well, that's not cool. That's a bit like not so great. jugular. That's like an old lady's hand to me. Can oh, we see the old unretouched picture? Hey, that is Are you kidding me? Can we see the unretouched? They retouched okay. her hair. That's like an old lady's hand to me. Oh. Can we see the unretouched picture? Hey, that is Are not you bad. kidding me? That's better than the retouch picture. Jennifer. Wow. This is Big so change. How do you feel? I feel better now. Are you ready for your best 40 shot? 40 years older is how I feel. Okay, it's not really doing much for me. What's killing us is you That's have what it takes yeah. and you're not bringing it. Let's see Jennifer with no retouching. Yeah, it's just still boring. Just got bags now. Amanda. Nigel Bisquish.
Weesh! You need to address your own bag, sir. Still boring, just with bags now. Electric chair. Hey, Amanda. Mandy. Where'd you come from, baby? Your dream. Annie Lennox meets Daryl Hannah from Splash. There you go. How do you like it? As soon as I saw it on, it's like, I feel the sex. You have so much makeup on your day face. Yeah. Thank With you. I mean, it looks like exactly the same, unfortunately. Okay. Alrighty, here is your best shot, Amanda. She does have like, gorgeous a cover of uh, Danish Vogue. You really okay. turned it out. Last week you were a broken rag doll, and now you are a queen. Your unretouched photo. Oh, it's so that's it. That's it. Whoa. That's amazing. I almost didn't notice. Amazing. They have retouched her hair color though, because there it actually looks like a pearlescent icy white. In every video shot we see, electric cheese girl. Whoa. That's amazing. I Whoa. almost didn't notice. Amazing. Cheese. Mm. It's not her fault though, it's the stylist. I'm loving your color change. It's made your whole face color. I love alive. your color change. There's confidence in Ooh. your face here. God, You've absolutely wowed me. Unretouched. Janice is photo. also very red. <laughs> Still good. Takara. Did they get rid of all of her moles? Why would you get rid of all her moles? Oh my goodness. Still good. Takara. Here's your best shot. Whoa, that is gorgeous. I'm watching you pose in front of the camera. It came quite naturally to you. Let's see the unretouched one. Yeah. Skin as fine as honey. Norel. What's with the like, boom, Norel, every got her time. braces off. You feel like working it, don't you? They're lovely, your teeth. Today you look like a model. No, I think your makeup is Fabulous. Thank you. The heavy side reminded me of Winona Ryder on the red carpet. Mm -hmm. Oh. Like yes, yeah, she does have quite a Winona look. I, I want to take some of that away. I want to see a little more of your beauty. Now we're going to take a look at your unretouched photo. Help! Oh, I need blinders. Janice, we need to re unretouch you. Shot. You're not utilizing that perfect oval face and the confidence to wear your hair back. I don't, I don't, I don't like it either. Oh. Let's see Anne's non retouched photo. You need Beautiful. To get this there. Julie. The yeah, unretouched was better than the retouched. Was just the evening look, there was not enough on the eye. Why didn't you play it up more? Oh my god, what's that necklace? She's got like a massive look, key. Not a... That's so cute. Enough on the eye. Why didn't you play it up more? And embrace the Indian and ethnic roots that you have. What's going on with your outfit, honey? It's not a model outfit. Can we take the necklace off and like yeah. roll the pants down? Should she take down her hair? You're looking pedestrian here, honey. The eyes are not there, the angle, you're yeah. not working it. Unretouched photo. I want to know why you want to be a model. Honestly, it's for me to get into this industry and to learn more about it, for me to start my own apparel manufacturing company. Oh, wait, 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 you mm. want to start a manufacturing company? Yeah. I never had that, like, model confidence. Ah, oh, you didn't want to wanna be a model, you want to be a manufacturer. You've got to concentrate on, on the job at hand. Mm. Yes. The job at hand is modeling. Okay, thanks, Julie. Ooh, Up next, we have Yuck. That feels very much like Julie might be going. There is something in this show, though, that's very like the fact that Nigel was like, you should embrace your Indian and ethnic roots. Like, from everything that she's said, that Julia said throughout all this season so far, she, I haven't gotten this impression once that she's trying to hide something or that she's not embracing something or she's just li like, to, for someone outside of your culture or your beliefs or your race to say, you need to embrace it. It's such a strange abstract concept to me because yeah, if someone said to me like, you need to embrace your like British heritage, I'd be like, I'm doing fine. I'm doing me fine, sis. It feels to me like, who are you to be saying something like that? Like, who are you to decide which and what part I should and shouldn't embrace from my own lived experience. That is such a strange thing for Nigel to say. I don't like, no, this episode, rubbing me the wrong way, girls. And nobody likes being rubbed the wrong way, do they? No. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, girls. Here is your Win. best shot. She's won, 100K. Looking good here, girlfriend. I wasn't oh, sure Janice you were gonna, gonna ever be able to be so soft. And this picture looks more innocent and it's really beautiful. Let's see your unretouched photo. You have to work on her skin. They lightened her skin. Water. Water. You have to work. Beautiful. Let's see your under. They lightened her skin soda. quite dramatically. You have there. to work on her skin. You drink more water. Water, water, water. You can get there, but it's gonna take some work. Why is a photographer saying drink more water? You're not a doctor. You're not a dermatologist. Yeah, your skin looks remarkably hydrated. It, but drinking water is not going to rid your skin of problem areas. It's gonna make your skin plump and lovely, yeah but it's not gonna target some of the things that are perhaps caused by other issues. And last but not least, okay. Kelly. Kelly, Kelly you're a slamming fierce. This Slam. change is amazing. I like your hair a lot. 
Girl, there's nothing on your, they, I mean, a little bit of blue on top, but that's it. You have to put on more makeup as a woman of color. Our skin does reflect the light. Here is your best shot. That was edited there. I'm pretty sure I've seen this clip before. She says, our, our face absorbs makeup or something more. I'm pretty sure that Tyra says that. You don't have to put on more makeup as a person of color. Perhaps different techniques need to be utilized. Yes, like bringing features forward, but putting on more makeup, that's not technically true. I've never had to put more makeup on my clients who are people of color than just like white girl lacy. Like I've never had to put more makeup on. Our skin does reflect the light. Here is your best shot. Okay. Overall, this Gorgeous. picture is just bland. You look like a deer in the headlights in this picture. Perfect almond shape eyes. There's nothing coming behind it. Let's see your unretouched shot. It's like a Hitchcock. Her eyes are so much more intense there. They've like retouched away the edge, if you look. So look at this. Look at her eye expression here. There's like a sort of like spice to it. I don't know. Is that the word I'm looking for? Like a spot, like a, an intensity. This is the unretouched. Look, they've moved her eyebrow. How can you comment on someone being dead behind the eyes and move their eyebrow? A film. Go back and forth, back and forth really fast to see what I mean. Oh, they've just done it then themselves. A horror film. Janice, grow What are you up. feeling right now, Kelly? You look... So it's very shocking to see it like this. The people that usually see my skin tell me that I have beautiful skin. I know that there are times when my eyes are very intense. But if it was intense and better than this, they would have chosen this shot. No, That's, Tyra. Yeah, you cannot place the blame on someone else. I'm not yes, you yes, can. You are. Edit. Right now, you're not growing. Oh, Take it, all Kelly's the criticism going. we give you and use it constructively yes. and be empowered by it and walk oh, away and go, angry. OK, now I know what to do. Nigel, if you walk out of here and saying the photographer chose the wrong picture, you don't grow. You and your striped right. shirt. OK, Kelly, thank you. So now it's time for the judges to deliberate. Oh, Kelly versus... Alrighty, we will start with Eva. God. I'm digging Eva. Danilo thinks she's beautiful. Jennifer. Oh, he speaks in the third yeah, person. This picture is blah. Jennifer's out in this photo, but her beauty is definitely in. Anne. This picture for me, Anne looks like nothing. I don't think she's leaving herself enough. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, as a yes, yes, in. No rap. I do not get this girl. This judge looks so like fast. a parakeet. She's modern. Christy. Oh my God, help. This is giving me an out. Julie. In person, she's a really beautiful girl. I was extremely turned off when she said she was using the modeling world to get somewhere else. Amanda. Yes, this that is flawless. Yeah, it is. It's yeah, just that's perfect. A bit, Takara. Yeah. Like, Tell her now, figure. You all know how I feel about large women in 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 couture cassie she's and how do you feel janice would you like to say it on camera for everyone to hear and listen because i can tell you for a fact we don't like that as consumers seeing someone be really hateful for no reason she's out picture is pretty it's nice it's not fantastic nicole nigel is see nicole pump clearly up having a moment I in this episode i hate you all die when i see kelly i think she's an absolutely gorgeous girl i don't like people to talk about themselves like i'm this beautiful person yeah. let us tell you you're beautiful uh -huh. she tries that's very gaslighty to know you're beautiful is not a problem it's very strange they preach this idea of like love yourself love yourself yes work it love yourself as soon as you actually say i love myself and i love the skin i'm in they're like no not like that it's too much no we'll tell you actually get grip to blame her lack of intensity on other people i'm feeling takara over kelly i the really editor. am wow i'm feeling that god what a horrible episode this is the worst episode so far. Beautiful girls standing before me. Right. But I only have 11 photos in my hands. The rest of you are going into the duck pond. Why aren't you making it to the pageant? 11 of you that will continue on the journey to possibly the journey goes to America's next top model. To the center of the universe. First name that I'm going to call. Oh, who did the best? Amanda. Uh, You're still in the running towards becoming America's next top model. Interesting. But she didn't do very well in the makeup Nicole. challenge. Congratulations. So. Riggery. Eva. Eva. Yaya. Yaya. Takara. <gasps> Electric Lime. Jennifer. Jennifer. Cassie. Hello. Oh. You look like you were giving up over there, Cassie. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> the next name that I will call, Norel. 
Oh, everyone's like... Showing that pretty new smile, aren't you? Oh, the music, da, 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 da. Yeah. Oh! The next thing that I'm going to call... Julie versus Christine. Kelly. Oh, oh, no! You're having a panic attack over there. I have no idea. <laughs> Congratulations, If Julie Christine. goes, the curse is correct. Will Julie and Kelly please step forward? No! I only have <sighs> one photo in my hands. And this photo represents... This is horrible. ...the girl that will continue in the running towards becoming America's next top model. The girl's name that I do not call must immediately return to your apartment Pack your belongings. And fly out and the leave. window. You two had some of the worst pictures in the bunch. You picked no them intensity, and re-edited them no yourself, fire, though. Ha! And no passion. Kelly, passion. you played the blame game. You don't take responsibility for yourself. Oh, yeah. It Reality TV hates when you point out their the problems. They're like, no! And say, I am I can God! Do better. Not someone else can choose a better photo. Yes! But Julie. A hundred percent. You said that you want to be here to further your career in fashion merchandising oh, yes, or manufacturing. Not once did you say you want to be a top model. I, I feel like you yeah. both lack passion. But then what I'm led so up to that conversation? We didn't see that. Oh. Come on, Tyra! Kelly. <gasps> I knew it! That's the curse! The curse! You're oh. still in the running towards becoming America's next top model. I'm sorry, psychic better. woman. There you go. On the go. Thank you, Julie. Thank you. She's stunning. I really actually thought I was going to get fired there, but I mean, the truth came I out. I really like I her I saw voice. this as a dream for now, but then Julie. I saw a bigger dream in the end. My uh, you survived this it. nonsense, though. Model I hope you're now a super life, successful really woman on the game. Something, and I blow it here. You didn't and blow it. That it's over they now. set you up. Oh. Oh. Well, Ken Mock, it's all your fault. How dare you? I've got some thoughts, my loves. So, my lovelies, I think this episode is quite possibly the worst we've seen so far in terms of how it's made me feel. We watched Cassie's eating disorder storyline. We saw them set up Julie to fail. We saw some interesting comments from Nigel, and Nigel just seemed to hate everyone. We've had so much body shaming and skin shaming in this episode. That I don't really know. I don't, really know, I don't, really, don't even think I have the words to explain it. I'm so confused about the orthodontist situation. Like Narelle having her braces taken off by an orthodontist that isn't her one who like put them on, or like is managing how her treatment goes at all and then was like we've got lovely results like what does that mean what does that mean like didn't she at the beginning of this episode say like oh i've got another year or so in them or something not of this episode sorry of this season very confusing choice and because tyra is an executive producer she would have decided that she would have made that like known the makeover episodes are usually the most highly rated episodes in the season and that's because they're usually the most dramatic we did see some tears we did see some people not liking it eva especially was quite um what's the word like unhappy with her makeover but in this episode, she actually had some, like, truth behind what she was speaking. Is this the first time that we're going to see, like, her storyline of, like, redemption from her brash kind of... A bit bullying kind of attitude in the last couple of episodes? We even saw Tyra say, like, she didn't want this specific archetype on the show. So, for her to say something like, oh, Cassie has confided in Amanda and Amanda's just gone behind her back and told everyone. And the fact that she was like, that puts a mark on Amanda for me. I really would be in the same situation there with Eva. I'd be like, that person has done something bad. Regardless of how sorry they feel for it, they've still done that action and it's gonna make me think of them in a certain way in a competition. Because Amanda could have expressed that concern to any person in power that could have had an effect rather than just fellow competitors. If she was really concerned about Cassie and her health, she could have gone to the medic. I'm sure they would have had some health and safety person on set. Someone who wasn't just immediately turning around and saying it to everyone else in the room. But talking about the curse of the makeovers, my lovely, they literally at the beginning of the episode were like, Julie, you're just having a trim. But we saw this in the last season as well. I think it was with Bethany where they were like, we're just going to make you a little bit more blonde. And they didn't really do anything. They just kind of like, blow dried her hair a bit. 
So I think we can t safely say moving forward in these seasons that we watch, if we see anyone in the makeover episode getting possibly the least makeover possible, then it's likely that they're probably going home, isn't it? I don't know. And the way they retouched um, Kelly's photo to make her eyebrow like move from an intense position to a softer position and then to say, you're dead behind the eyes, you've got no emotion. Like they literally are editing your face to look different. How can Tyra possibly then say, you're trying to blame it on the edits. We're not having any of that. No, because that is exactly what it is. The edit changed the way that she looked. I don't know, very confusing. And with that, my loves, it's time for the Patreons. You can see yourself scrolling past on the screen right here, my lovelies. Let me know what you think about what we've seen in today's episode in the comments box below, because I'm pretty like gagged about the whole thing. I'm now going out for dinner with Novimpia and Roly, and I'm gonna be like, excuse me, America's Next Top Model is the reason why we're all so ill. And today's Twitch shout out, Biscuit, my tired little Biscuit, who's always really tired when I'm filming because he spends all night having the zoomies and then in the morning also has a little sleepy booze and keeps me up at night and then barks at me at six o'clock to be let in bed and have a cuddle before we get up. Yes, that Twitch shout <laughs> Today's Twitch shout out goes to Blaze Fire Dragons. Thank you so much for following me over on Twitch, you stunning dragon on the go. Oh, yes. Oh, uh, what's that? Do you want to go outside? Thank you for following me over on Twitch. If you want to be featured in my next video's Twitch shout out, Biscuit, what can they do? They can go on to Twitch <laughs> and follow me over there on Luxaria Plays. I stream every Monday and Thursday. Is it time for dinner? Is that what it is? Should we get some dinner? And once again, I want to say a massive thank you to my top tier Patreons. Aloria, Laura Ali, Luke Peterson, Orcos Samoji, Amanda, Beebles32, Shell Herman, Christy Crownover, Christina Kyle, ContraPoints, Danielle, Danny Smith, Darina Pina, Elizabeth Stone, Eric Castillo, Jen Martin, Jennebeth Herman, Caitlin Wright, Laura Jane, Les Banana, Mazelle Morell, Min Min TM, Mariah Sherman, Nadia Hamdi, Nixie Tricks, Paolo Rivera, Ryan Vita, Sexy Taxi RN, Slampire Queen, Steffi Tech, The Chaos Collective, Travelful, Tromo, Victoria Carella, and Zoe Sevier. And you know what, my loves? I'm gonna leave it on the note of why did America's Next Top Model work with this designer so often? The one that's now in prison for 59 years for crimes I cannot talk about here on YouTube. But it does also go to show working in television is not everything. And with that, I will see you in the next video, my lovelies. <gasps> yeah.